Hi, good morning, Mr. Buffett and Ms. Munger. My name is Steffi Yu from Horizon Insights, a China-focused research firm based in Shanghai. Um, so I have a lot of mutual fund clients in China who are very young, relatively younger, and they manage a smaller portion of funds. So my question is, if you only have $1 billion in your portfolio today, um, how would you change your investments? Would you consider more investment opportunities in uh, emerging markets such as China? Thank you. Yeah, I would, I would say if, if I were working with a billion, I would probably find within a $30 trillion market in the United States where I understood things better just generally than I do around the world. I'd probably find, find opportunities there that would be better, incidentally, by some margin than what we can find for hundreds of billions. Uh, uh, but I wouldn't, there's no way I'd rule a lot of emerging markets. There was a time 15 years ago or so, when just because it was kind of interesting that it took me back to my youth, I, a weekend I went through a, a directory of Korean stocks and I, I bought, and these were small stocks. All of them were small by standards of either Korean or American business. They were big, big companies. But I found 15 or 20 and that were statistically cheap and bought some of each one myself. And, and there, are, there are opportunities with smaller amounts of money to do things that we just can't do. And, but I, my first inclination always would be to comb through things in the United States. And, and uh, but I'd comb through in other countries. I probably wouldn't get into very, very small markets because uh, there can be a lot of difficulties even in market execution and taxation, a lot of things. You can find, you can't find it in, you know, in America and China and Britain and a few other places. <laughs> You're probably not going to find it someplace else. So you may think you found it, but there may be, it may be a different game than you know. Our problem is size, not geography. Charlie? Well, I, I already have more stocks in China than you do in, as a percentage, so I'm with the young lady. Okay, well, you can, uh, you want to name names? Do these stocks have names? Or, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Carol. Um, this question uh, and... I, I should uh, just add one thing. You will find plenty of opportunities in China. Would, Charlie would say you've got a better hunting ground than even a person with similar capital in the United States. Do you agree with yes, that? I do. Yeah, yeah. So, and in a sense, there, it, it's logical that should be the case because it, it's a younger market, as well, but still a large market. So that markets probably work toward efficiency as they age. Japan had this very strange situation with warrants being priced out of line and all of that uh, 30 years ago, and it. People notice after a while it disappears, but there can be some very strange things happen in, in markets as they develop. I think you'd agree with that, Charlie, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah.